Been here once before. Nice to meet you. you. Good, how are you? Pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome to MCC. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. That's called the cupola, which is one of the, the windows we have. And that's a picture watching. Been here once before. Hello. Hello. Been here once before. With Prime Key means you can use any background that you like. This is what the background looks like. Uh, this is the true background that we film this on. With Prime Key it means you can have any background that you like, like this, or maybe this, or maybe this. We have to introduce the concept of free fall. So let's use this model of the Earth. And let's enlist the help of a friend, Taxi. You might know her. Specifically, how HoloLens can turn every room of your house into a personalized video game level. But today, we want to take mixed reality one step further. So we've got something new to show you. Holograms you can hold. This holographic gauntlet is the weapon that Dan will be using while playing Project X-Ray. You'll notice that as he moves his arm, the hologram moves as well. This is a wearable hologram. And when you combine technology like this with the environment understanding of HoloLens, you can do some pretty spectacular things. And can even use his shield to defend himself. Nicely done. Looks like that's all of them. A company called Telemetrics. Thank you, Debbie Duran, for uh, bringing this to my attention. After I researched this, lo and behold, I found out uh, our government has a contract with these people. And Telemetrics basically what they do is they help news teams and they bring um, broadcasts together in real time and they're able to create sets, cities, anything you want in a virtual reality world and make it look absolutely 100% real. They're also able to bring different people from around the world, put them in the same room and broadcast live, uh, give them desks, whatever they need to make the broadcast. So it's a pretty amazing company. Um, here we see Johnson Space Center Telemetrics provided latest camera robotics technology and NASA's government television at Mission Control. Why do you need to fake virtual reality sets at Mission Control and Johnson Space Center? I think we know the answer to that when we saw Tim Peake on the gridded blue screen.
arm setup and the virtual reality glove that covers all the way down the arm and hand. This allows the software to broadcast what we see video wise as his arm in a shirt sleeve. Okay, I have a lot of Tim Peak screw ups, but this one here, the system glitches, the software does not track his hand properly. And Tim slips his hand underneath his other fingers, which is tightly holding onto the mic, which would be impossible. Um, I don't think this is Tim's fault. Normally, Tim always moves his other fingers up while he slides his hand under. I just think the uh, system didn't respond to his movements here. And I played a lot of sports. So, and all of that happened in a little town called York, Maine, across the United States from where we're talking to you right now. York, Maine, across the United States from where we're talking to you right now. As you have seen, when we finished brushing our teeth, we can't use water to uh, spool our mouth. So we just get rid of the toothpaste in a small cup like this which, of course, after a while, we exchange. Spitting, that's going to be a problem. So we swallow our toothpaste, we swallow our toothpaste, we swallow our toothpaste, swallow our toothpaste. So we just get rid of the toothpaste in a small cup like this. Node 3. Down there, thank you very much. You're welcome. 
Okay. I wonder why he's down there. Stopped offers. We'll talk to you with the buddies down there. Okay. Eastern Station, yes, I am ready for the event. Jack, sir, this is Mission Control Houston. Jack, Please sir, call station for a voice check. Please call station for a voice check. Fire. We're leaving Earth today. Push back in my seat. We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could the moon, 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 the moon. up or down anymore. You can work in any orientation, and in your mind, you just make anything up. Well, what is the number one best thing about being in space? Oh, there's lots of nice things to be in space. I talked about uh, viewing the Earth. Of course, you can play with things, uh, doing things, doing experiments in a weightless environment, studying physics, doing physics, practical exercises in a weightless environment, fun. All astronauts turn the kids again.
does in a lot of ways. In fact, we use water to train for spacewalks. Little mermaid, sink or swim right up and look them in the eye, eye, eye. Swim, little mermaid. You will just kind of float in the water without moving and that's very similar to what it is so we use that a big pool to, to train for spacewalks it's not easy to so we can believe. feel what it's like to move around without gravity the ones we all have trusted don't deceive maybe it's time to challenge life yeah it's sort of like swimming if you look at my arms, my arms aren't down by my sides like on Earth. My arms float up. And they sort of the same as water because there's no gravity pulling them down. Little mermaid, sink or swim right up. Look them in the eye, eye, eye. Swim, little mermaid, with your soul. So it's more like floating in water all the time, not not swimming in water, because you can't pull against the air. It doesn't, do I'll show you, it won't take me anywhere. It doesn't, I just stand here, because the air is not as thick as water. So, uh, so it's more like just floating in water forever. It's, it's a beautiful uh, freedom. It's lovely to be able to just float around. So try it next time you're in a pool. Open the hook. Open the hook. It's time to pierce the sky. Scuba tanks in space. Snorkels and scuba tanks in space. Uh, I definitely haven't mastered it. I'll give you a trial and I'll show you just how bad it is. Practice makes perfect. Give me another week.